We thought that it would be nice to have some winter gatherings at the float because we wanted people to come out and enjoy the being outdoors through the winter and we've actually been really lucky because it's, um, it's been quite a mild winter and um, so we've had loads more people I guess than we might have had but we come out all bundled up anyway and we do whatever activity is happening and I've been running the art in the garden, uh, developing a garden work, you know, developing a garden sketchbook workshops uh, which again I just thought like in the winter it's nice to be with nature and like communicating like with each other and with the, the subject so we've just been doing all sorts of experiments and I do some exercises with the group and then we uh, we go off and do our own thing and actually it's week two and everyone's already doing their own thing everyone just like wanders off we use all different uh, materials, different media, different paper, different, and it's a good chance for people to A, get together, B, use different materials that they might not be able to afford or that they've never tried. And I think quite a, a few of the people that are coming anyway have been keeping up their sketchbook out with the group, which is really nice because they've, they've discovered a new uh, interest, which is lovely. We have, um, we've been talking uh, with all of the workshops actually because I do go to some of the other things and everything seems to be developing a little life of its own. Like, I don't know if you know but the project we've recently put into the constitution it was always um, a, a growing space for growing things and growing community and grow but we've put into the constitution it's for growing skills and talents and uh, and growing ideas. What's been happening in loads of the workshops is people start chatting and saying, oh, I've, thought that I, I've always thought that I'd quite like to, so like people's ideas are being expanded and it's just like, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. So either like the person's going to do it or like, as a group we're thinking, let's all, let's all get together and do that. With the art stuff we're saying we'd quite like to try making our own pigments, making our own um, materials and, and it's, like, it's obviously a bit of a longer process than just coming for like, a, a to our workshop sort of thing, but there's definitely a few of us into making pigments out of earth and ash and, uh, and all sorts of things. So that for, for this one, for the art workshops, I would say, yeah, I can see loads of things uh, happening from that. And I think also just people getting together and doing it on their own with no tutor, no, which is, I work elsewhere in a garden, in our, a community garden, and it's not our ethos, but it's like we, we believe most of us that work there that our uh, duty is to work ourselves out of a job so basically we should be um, giving like, empowering people to like start the garden or to do the, to learn the skills and to do all of that, that but then basically it's up to um, hopefully people will be inspired to do it themselves so the people who were there who started it in the first place won't actually need to be doing it anymore so you just like go along in life working yourself out of one job to the next job to the next job and uh, hopefully inspiring people along the way. I have thought of putting the artwork on display um, and the, the things as they are just now, the, this course was about uh, developing a garden sketchbook so most of the stuff is in sketchbooks so it's people, uh, people's own little sketchbooks so I guess we could do prints of like some of the pages but some of it's amazing, I would de definitely love a, a, <laughs> like a, a gallery do you call it an exhibition an exhibition um, and I think people would be up for it I think they would and we were already we were talking this morning about oh yeah another idea that someone else has that eventually would have an opening and have it so I would tell you that keep that one up her sleeves but uh, yeah I think it'd be really nice and it'd be a nice way to round off the, the, the workshops we've been doing mosaic workshops as well <clears throat> and uh, we're definitely having an opening for the mosaic workshop, so it may be that we could incorporate the two. I haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, there's some amazing work. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, so the art, um, the art classes that we hear just now has been amazing so far, and everyone is discovering inner talents that they never knew they had, um, and to be able to do it in a supportive space and in a beautiful environment is amazing. Um, and we're all working together and looking at what everyone's doing. It's lovely. Uh, it's a really nice use of the space as well. And to look around and to be able to get inspiration from what we see, from what we feel, from uh, the weather, to wet things, to burn things, to put earth on things. It's been a very organic, very organic feeling.
Um, so yeah, it's been great. Okay. <laughs> Um, so what's happening is we are taking over the world, starting with Patek um, and conquering it all with art. <laughs> um, more seriously, this is really good because I feel in winter, well personally I tend to stay indoors a lot more obviously because it's cold and the bad weather and there's not a lot of things you can do um, to you know, meet up with people. Um, and when I come to these workshops, I just go home and I have a lot more energy and it's actually given me new ideas and, and my own artistic endeavors. Um, and it's been, it's just been really good to come here and, and just chat and have a laugh and look at the outdoors and connect with the garden and, and feel alive, really. Well, the art class, we're out in the fresh air and it's a, it's a great chance to socialise. And I, on my plot, I've got some cabbages that have been absolutely turned into lace by the, by the caterpillars, and I was really ashamed of them. But look at them from an artist's point of view. They're actually very beautiful, so I'm proud of them now. Yeah, it's been really... Um it's like cold and then you're, you forget about the cold because you're sort of focusing on the shape and the colour of what you're what you're trying to draw. I, I don't draw, I'm not an artist and well not in that in that kind of way that you think an artist is. And but there's these um pencils that Tracy bought that you do the outline of the plant or the or what you're trying to um, draw, and then um, you wet a brush and you paint over it, and it just <laughs> transforms you instantly into an artist stuff like that. Which then has a wee knock-on effect because then the next week you, you're kind of like your confidence is up a bit. Um, so I, it's lovely to have the lovely to be let loose on all these um, different artistics or medium or whatever they're called, pencils and crayons and colours and and it's interesting because it's the winter it's been really lovely to get together with people and meet people in a different format rather than talking over the the cabbage you're discussing art and dreams and aspirations so yeah totally recommend